in this video you are going to learn what many people don't know it is a great opportunity for you here you are going to learn Perkins engine injection pump timing i'm going to explain from beginning to the end to you so just watch the video to the end it is very very simple if you can pay attention the first thing you need to know is that when you are synchronizing or timing your injection pump three things are involved when it comes to engine synchronization or engine timing your crankshaft your camshaft and your injection pump these three components must synchronize together that is engine timing now let's talk about the crankshaft and the camshaft in this Perkins model it is very easy to time the crankshaft and the camshaft because there is a timing mark on it there is a link that link the two together and there is timing mark so with that timing mark it is very easy for you to time um, to link both time both uh, crankshaft camshaft together but now after timing the two together it now remain your injection pump that is where the work is if you check the pump, injection pump gear you see that there is no timing mark there and in fact the injection um the injection pump shaft has no key way there is no key way there so how are you going to time it that is what you are getting in this video don't worry you are going to understand it fully this is the injection pump now let us start and go ahead about about the timing this injection pump what you have to do now is that you have to ensure that you unlock the shaft the screw there the bolt there that bolt here this one you have to make sure that you slack it the task locker i hope you know how to go about that so that if you tight it you will not be able to rotate the shaft but if you lose it you can see now the shaft is now turning when the shaft is now turning it is there you can now go ahead to do the magic and see the shaft is rotating now there is a 14 bolt there you have to remove the 14 bolt when you remove the 14 bolt you have to locate number one number one uh, um, pressure pipe you have to locate number one pressure pipe yes i've located number one pressure pipe we then uh so what i have to do now is for me to insert something inside you can see so but you can see i'm trying to insert it it didn't enter so what, what do i have to do i have to be rotating the shaft as you're rotating the shaft at a point you will notice that it's go the 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 pin is going to insert into the rotor edge or into the injection point as i'm rotating i'm rotating you can see I'm rotating, I'm rotating at a point you will now notice that it will just go in just keep watching if you don't subscribe to my channel please do don't to subscribe you can see it has not actually entered at this point it has entered you can see gone inside as soon as it enters inside and you notice that at that time the key will also face that very place you can see the key will face that very place that is the this is the timing of this injection pump that is the action of this injection pump don't forget to like share this video so that others can see this video you can see this is the timing of this injection pump then you need to lock this boat back you need to lock it back before you install the injection pump if you don't lock it back the injection pump is will turn while trying to insert it while you are trying to install it so you need to lock this boat back and while you try to lock it back when before you start rotate the engine you need to unlock the boat back so that the shaft can be rotating get it right now you need to lock the boat before you install and when you install finish don't forget to unlock the the boat back so that the shaft could be able to turn so but as you are able to install it now this is the boat i'm talking about ensure you lock it before you try to before you try to rotate the engine then after then this is what you have to do you have to ensure that 
you insert you can use 6 m allen key or 5 m allen key and insert in this hole just as, as you are seeing on your screen this is what you have to do you have to insert something here when you insert something here and it was able you can use um a 13 bolt a long one as if you thread it inside if it can stand if you can put a uh, point touch light you see there is a little hole there if this was set, that means that you are able to synchronize both the crankshaft and the camshaft. Then, you are, since you are able to um, set your injection point timing, the engine is going to start. Get it right. Insert something here, just as you are see on the screen right now. Put something there. If that thing can stand there, that is. You can see there are about six O on the camshaft. The the little O there. That is the very one you are going to use you insert something then and if you can do that the engine is going to start hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share this video see you in my next video where i talk about another topic on Perkins engine thank you